So this is a decloning workshop. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about for like five minutes here is that the light never created darkness. That's one of the illusions that the dark side gave you. Uh, New Age metaphysic teachings, uh, religions, etc. cetera. Uh, there is no energies that are from the light at churches here on this planet. So if you pray to something in a church or have an icon or whatever, uh, that energy is from the light of the darkness. So everything that the light created, the darkness copied. And that's basically what you're dealing with here is, is a false reality. Uh, so the light never created darkness, the darkness never created light. And if the two energies were to be separate, it would be perfectly fine. You know, we would have a nice life here with light on this planet, light in you and everything else. Uh, the alien agenda took over. When, I don't know, but they're here. You can see them in the ship clouds up in the skies, the flat bottom clouds. You can, you've heard about landings and UFOs and crop circles, etc. So this is all new, I mean, not new to any of you here. Uh, the, the, the main thing is, is that what you need to realize is that they cloned you. That's what this workshop is about, and I'll prove that. So it's very easy to do. <laughs> At least I can do that. Uh, I live out of time. I'm a light being. I don't deal with time energies. I have to work with them. I have to step out of time. I bilocate all the, you know, all the time, using the word time again. So I'm here and I'm on, on source energy continuously back and forth. So I don't live in time. I'm not controlled by time. And I have to understand time in order to help you. Uh, my booth is 223. I have a light infusion chamber there. And that light infusion chamber puts light back into your body that these uh, aliens and one of universal travelers took away from you. Remember, you're all created from an alien race of some sort, and they brought you down here, and then you have the controlling DNA inside of you from that race, and that's how they control you. Uh, how many in here have seen, uh, for instance, uh, the numbers 1, 2, and 3 all the time, or 11, 11? Me. Me, okay. So that is a alien robotic program that's being transmitted to you. So you're, you're that, that's the validation that the aliens uh, get when you look at the clock. So if you realize that, gee, I'm looking at this clock and it's saying the same numbers all the time, that's a robotic program, and, and you're validating that you're hooked up because you're seeing it consistently. You know, the New Age people may say, oh, 1111 is a great number, and they probably have books on 1111 and what each individual sequence is, but it's just all control programs. Okay, so let's, uh, uh, so that the, if the dark, if the darkness, when I talk about that, is, t is strictly uh, <laughs> almost always aliens that do not have a spirit or soul in their body. If they stayed in their own universe of darkness, and to them it might be light, Okay, but wherever they lived, their sandbox, if they stayed there, it would be perfectly fine. But the main alien agenda is to control you and control them. So people ask me and say, Ron, isn't there good aliens out there? And, uh, you know, people sometimes channel aliens. Are they good? <coughs> well, they're in duality like you would be. Okay, because you're connecting with them. Light cannot come into darkness. So the light realm of true light doesn't know about us here only once every 2,000 years when it comes to collect its own light energies. It's light signature. Other than that, you're on your own. Light gives you free will, free choice. Light does not judge, okay? So that's the main thing that you need to know. There's no judgment in light. If it had judgment, then it'd be darkness. And so the light energy does not look around for darkness to get rid of it. It does at ascension time right now. But uh, other than that, this is what uh, you're looking at is strictly having light connect to you. And your light is with your spirit. You can never draw anything to you outside of yourself because you're it. So, uh, any questions? Sir? Yes? You have a mic there, but the amplifier doesn't seem to be good. I can't hear you. Well, let's see. Still here? We'll see if we can fix that here. I get a little closer, maybe. So I can do a, a process here right now. Any, any, any questions right now from anybody? Yes, this lady here. This is my first time at one of your 
lectures. And why are aliens controlling us? Okay, aliens, uh, number one, they live off your emotional energy. They live off the mind energy. They created mind for you. They created time. And uh, hooked into that is duality. And the duality deals with your emotions, right? Good and bad. Uh, you know, uh, anger, love, you know, all these different things that you have, which you're experiencing. So you always have an up and down situation in your life, right? So they get energy when you're really high, happy, and they also get the same energy, or, or I won't say the same, but it's still energy when you're on a down, downward cycle or maybe being angry or something. So they, they pull off your emotional energy. They also live off your pain energy. And that's kind of the way it is. So, and unfortunately, if, if you're dealing with uh, the alien energies themselves, uh, somehow you will be connected to what you know nothing about. Remember, what you don't know is going to kill you, basically. What you don't know, you don't know. Yes? Do you think if we take psychotropic drugs like lithium that balances our mood so that we don't get very happy and we don't get very sad, that we can defeat the aliens? It, well, if, if you don't everybody. think, yeah, uh, I can't I, talk about drugs. Ever since I've been on lithium, it's been working out real well for me. They just can't do anything. Okay, yeah. They if you, if you don't think, yeah, yeah. If you don't think, yeah, then they don't have any control over you. Exactly. Okay. Remember, the aliens gave you mind. The other energy is heart, peace, and in mind energy you have duality. Okay, so uh, yes. I need to understand. Do you mean any specific aliens? Do, do what's, what's that again? Yeah. Do, you have, do you mean any specific aliens? Th there's thousands of aliens, okay? You may only know maybe a half a dozen of them by name, okay? So, yes? What are some of their names? There's so many uh, that's, you know, you have, have uh, you know, the ones that you've probably heard about, the Greys, that's one. Uh, I have worked with some of the Greys that were good. Remember, you have to realize that these aliens, some of them were created by light, okay? And just like people on this planet, they chose darkness. You chose to <coughs> think, right? So each time you think, you're in darkness because you're in judgment. And so judgment actually takes you away from your spirit, and that gets programmed into your body, into your DNA, and you have even more problems. This is what I do is take you out of that situation. I, I have clearings to take you out of the judgments that's stored inside of your body. There's many energetic bodies that you don't see physically, but they cause you problems. I'll do a quick healing for everybody, then we'll do some decloning. So think of an emotional situation that you've encountered. It could be any time. It could be uh, five minutes ago. It could be you know, when you're three years of age. Just think of something. Everybody have one? Okay. Yes. It's gone. And look at it now. Whoa. Okay. Think of another one. Gone. <laughs> Okay, think of another one. Gone. Okay, think of another one. Gone. Body relaxing? Okay, it's because your muscles had stored tensions inside of your muscle structure and other parts of your body and it's causing you discomfort. You don't know that. Okay, another one. Gone. And another one. Gone. So you're living your storyline. Your storyline is all of your dramas and traumas of this lifetime. That's who you think you are. Let's go out to eat with somebody. They'll start gossiping about something, talking about something, and that's your storyline. So what I have is an emotional clearing. It's $5 times your age. Uh, it caps off at $300, and I have a $50 discount at my booth for that. It takes about 20 minutes to do. And you have, you have uh, like, your storyline is like 90% released. You can move on. Okay, I'll, I'll do a feeling body. Because some people don't live in their emotions, they live, live in feelings. How many in here use the word feelings? Me, all the time. All the time, okay. So, you're, so that, that means that your emotional body is typically trashed, okay? It's already filled full, overflowing, full of stuff. Now you're in feelings. That's the next one to, to get clogged up, okay? so. Let's take the same issues that you had. And for those of you who uh, just had a clearing and you felt a lot of energy, you may only feel like this much of it. But for you people, possibly it might be like this much. So here we go. Think, think of the same issues. 
Okay, next one. 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 And just think of another one. There. So I live out of time, so I'm not in time. That's how I can do this, okay? I'm from source energy. Uh, my spirit's from that. I have a body like you have. And uh, so for myself, I would be an alien to the aliens that are abducting you. So I'm, I'm way outside of, out, of, out of their box. They, they don't know about light or they lost light. So uh, that's what I do, it's clearings. To get you, see each time you have a clearing, that density gets released out of your body, and if you're all clogged up full of densities and stuff, then your spirit can't come into you. So you want to get more of yourself back. This is what I do. It's very, very simple. Question. Yes, question? Once you're clear, do you accumulate this stuff all over the Okay, time? perfect question. So let's say that you uh, uh, had the emotional clearing. Maybe you had like four clearings. Maybe you had, a, you know, you do the emotional one first, and then that normally fixes you, typically, okay? And then you say, oh, I got this problem with fear. Well, that may be your fear body, okay? So then you do a fear clearing, another whole lifetime one. And maybe you do a trauma body. Maybe you have a lot of pain. You do a pain. <coughs> now you're pretty good. And uh, you look at people and they start talking and you may not resonate to what they're saying because you've already been there, done that. But something could get triggered in you from your DNA from the past. So your dormant DNA, if it stays dormant, no problem. They're perfectly fine, but when it gets keyed in, or if you see something that's happening where it traumatizes you or something like that, then you just activated the DNA and that's coming forward. So what I have on my website is a unlimited clearing, go on it three times a day if you want. If you had a clearing from me in the past, a long time ago, you can pay 50 bucks, go on there three times a day if you'd like, and clean yourself to stay current, okay? And that's basically what, uh, what I do, yes? A lot of people think if it's a truly spiritual healing, it has to be free. What do you, th what's going on? <laughs> I, I live like you live. <laughs> Might live worse than you. <laughs> My car is a 1995 Mercedes, okay? Mm -hmm. And when I go places and people look at it, they go, oh man, you got an old Mercedes. Mm -hmm. I go, yeah, but it cost when it was new. I didn't buy it new, right? I said, but it cost $145,000 new. They go, oh, really? <laughs> but anyway, that's what I have with an old Mercedes. So, it, so to me, it's a good car. But, uh, so everything costs money here. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not, I like to get a sponsor. You know, my, my mission here is to go out to auditoriums and work with 250,000 people at once. Okay? I can do that. I have the energy to do that. And that's what I need to do. Yes? Are you in communication with any alien right now? Uh, oh, good question. Uh, uh, what's, what's in this room right now is not necessarily aliens. Uh, uh, I have a lot of soldiers in here. I'll be doing an enlistment program tomorrow, and these soldiers protect me. They're invisible. They're, they're fighting aliens on timelines that we don't know about, unless you've been enlisted into the armed services to do that. Yes. Are you doing what? enlisting in the Warriors of Light program uh, during this seminar? Or during uh, the I'll do it tomorrow. Uh -huh. If you, if you can't come tomorrow, come to my booth. I've been a Warrior of Light for about six months, and, yep. uh, and we're starting to make some real serious progress. Great, great. Okay, so let's do some decloning for people. So uh, I need about maybe ten people up here. Okay, just, just come up. And, and what you're going to feel, uh, the first thing, if you haven't been decloned, and I'll, I'll talk about decloning, okay, as you're walking up. So, typically you get switched out about every 10 minutes. And when you get switched out, another clone comes in. So, I'll, I'll describe how the system works. So, Alien Race A bought time on a timeline, which you can call parallel life. I use the two words interchangeably. And they have you for 10 minutes to suck the energy out of you, okay? And during that process, they can abduct you, do whatever, whatever they want, because they're in control of time. For us here, we think that you know time is, is like, you're, you know, you're sitting there, you're always here, right? If you go to sleep, it's a little different situation, but you're listening to me, and you think that you're here 100% of the time. Well, you may not be. So when you switch out, another clone from another alien race 
put you onto their created, fabricated timeline. Now, what the Indians have to do is fabricate everything. They got to change. They got to make you from the last blueprint from the previous clone. Have to transfer to you the database of who you are. Okay. Just think of a computer, right? So that they're, they're they're recreating everything around you, even the audience here. And if you notice, if you know everybody has lost their car keys or something, mm -hmm. right? And you look all around, you can't find it. And sure enough, a few days later, they show up. And you go, I looked there, right? Okay, well, where was that? It was out on a timeline. And somehow you, came, well, you went to that same timeline and you brought it back. Okay, but you know nothing about it. And you go, whoa, why did this thing just show up? And you guys see the roses here, how, how pretty they are? Okay, so. Uh, each race controls you and they use you. So that's basically it. And uh, you get dropped in and out. You don't know that you're not here. But the people here behind me, uh, watch uh, the people out here in the audience, watch them. And you're going to see their body maybe jerk. They might change heights. Their hair might change different colors. Their clothing may change because a different alien race has to change and recreate them. Now we don't normally see that, that real fine detail. But just Tune into somebody here. Here we go. So I'll, I'll, I'll take out I'll probably, I don't know, about 150 clones and I'll make you real. And if you look at the people here, you're going to see that if they haven't been decloned, and the cloning could last maybe up to a couple days to maybe a week, okay? Depends how much you think. If you think a lot, then they got you. But here we go, and I'll stop at 10. One, two, three. Each time I count, the clone's coming out. Their stopping time could be stopping it for a week. We don't know that, okay? And they got to make the body, right? And recreate everything here, then drop you back in on a timeline. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anybody see any shifting? <laughs> yeah? Okay. So, how do you feel? I'm all right. How are you? Can I have some water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a little rough. Okay. <laughs> so, here we go. Ready, ready to go? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, can I sit there? Is that right? Can I just sit down there? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I just don't want to. How about the chair here? Yeah, all right. Don't do that. Me and you are. Me and you. Let's go. We got it. Here we go. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Woo! 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. How are you feeling? feeling warm. Okay, feeling warm? Yeah. Normally your hands will start to get moisture, okay? Oh. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110. I'll put you in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There. Now you're real. So you know. Okay. How do you feel? Good. I always feel good. Okay. Here we go. So what, what number was I? 110. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay. Coming in, everybody. One, two, three, four, and five. There. So, all of you should feel a little different. You might feel heavier. You might feel more solid. And uh, look at the people out here. I have worked with a few people on the other the other day. Uh, but you're going to be seeing these people like like you're sitting <coughs> in the movie theater, right? And these people are on the screen. And they don't look real to you because they're most of them are artificial intelligent bodies. So just just look at them, and you can see the difference. And then look at yourselves here. They should all be glowing. These people are real. Oh, on this side. Yeah, they're all real. A bunch of phonies. Yep, a bunch of phonies. Oh, you poor guys. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, the more you think, the, the more they get you. Remember, source energy doesn't have any thoughts, doesn't have mind. Source energy never created mind. Mind's always, like, dead. And I still live. Okay, you guys can sit down. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Welcome. Thank you, Ron. Okay, welcome. Excuse <laughs> me. Great. Yes. Yeah. I control the energy. Uh, I'm a master. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, next group. Uh, so have you, you always been able to do this, or how, how, I, I can do how did you know you were and yep, like yep. the rest of us? More people? Yeah. He's from Forge. Okay. okay. And some more people? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you feel good. If you did it yesterday, come up again. You feel better. Yeah. Uh, change? Yeah. 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 Ye